What's going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV. Video here today, another transfer talk. An Arsenal link today with Norwich right back Max Ahrens. Um, he's been highly rated this season, had a great season in the Premier League. Um, he turns 20 today, England under 21 international. And rumours that Arsenal are chasing him to replace Hector Bellerin, who they're concerned about his injury problems at the moment. And they believe Aaron's could be the man to come in. Um, he's had a very good season. And he's being linked with our rivals, Tottenham, um, as they chase a new right back. Um, but will Arsenal go in for him? It's believed that Norwich would want between 30 and 40 million. Um, and obviously Arsenal, um, who, who are like the cash generators of the Premier League, you know, buy now, pay later. Would they be willing to pay 30 or 40 million for him um, in this window? With Bellerin, you know, only a couple of weeks apparently from being back in the first team. Um, Aaron's is a very good player, to be fair. I think he's one of the real upcoming talents in English football, especially in defence. Personally, I would be in favour of this deal. Um, Hector Bellerin has struggled since coming back from injury. He struggled with his form for a while. Um, he started the season well under Emery, but apart from that, a couple of years really since Bellerin's really been consistently good. Um, Aaron's is somebody I would go for. Let me know in the comments what you think. Would you be happy with Max Aaron's? Would you pay 30 or 40 million for him? A um, few other um, defenders. Uh, Mary Demaral, a player we spoke about the other day. Um, the Turkish international Juventus player. Now, it's believed that Leicester and Borussia Dortmund have made offers for him this week. Um, 30 million euros from Leicester, 40 million euros from Dortmund. As I said, Sarri has played him in his last five games for Juventus. So whether he would be willing to sell him or not. But if Arsenal are looking at this guy, who is very highly rated from what I've heard, they need to make a move because clubs are making offers for him. That could be a difficult one to get done with other clubs putting offers in. Um, of course, Dortmund are, you know, in the Champions League, so it's a difficult deal to get done. Which leads us to the other Juventus centre-back, Daniele Rigani. Uh, the rumours coming out now that Juventus would be able to take a cut price for him, that they would take around €30 million, Euros, around the £25 million pound mark. Um, personally, from what I've heard of Rigani, He's not that highly rated. Uh, in fact, one guy I know who, who watches a lot of Italian football, he told me he's a bit like the Italian Mustafi, which certainly does not fill me with hope. You know, he said he's not great in the air, he's not the quickest, he's a bit rash in the tackle. Maybe not someone we should be looking at, but, you know, he's at Juventus and apparently they rate him, but they're, they're saying now they would take a cut price of around €30 million Euros for it. Will Arsenal make a move for Rogani in this window? We were linked with him in 2017 and also last summer as well. So clearly the scouts have seen something in Rogani um, to make them think there's something there. Um, and the other defender who we're you know talking about every day now is Jerome Boateng. Um, Rumours coming out now that Bayern Munich would even be willing to let him go with no transfer fee if a club was willing to take on the remainder of his contract. He's got two years left on his deal, um, around £180,000 a week wages. But with no transfer fee, would it be worth the risk? I mean, I think personally, if you can't get somebody like Upper Meccano or Demoral in this window, I think Boateng on a free transfer for two years would not be the worst bit of business, you know? It's not ideally what we want. We want someone younger we can progress with, but with the likes of Saliba coming in, Rob Holding there, you know, young defenders, they're going to need experience now. Is Boateng past it? That's the question. I haven't really watched him for the last year. Um, I don't watch a great deal of German football, so you guys may know better than me. Is Boateng past it? Or, you know, people would have said David Luiz is past it. But let's be honest, David Luiz has been our best centre-back this season. Probably not the standard we still want, but that's the reality. That's where our defenders are. Boateng may come in and be our best centre-back. So it's interesting. I think, personally, if you can't get one of the younger defenders in this window, on a free, Boateng would make sense. That's just my opinion. Um, into the midfielders now, Thomas Lamar. Uh, Rumours coming out now that George Mendes, you know, the super agent, um, an agent who Arsenal haven't worked with for years, until the summer, when they actually used him to broker the Nicolas Pepe deal. He has close links with Raul Sinelli. 
Rumours that he is involved in the Thomas Lamar situation, that Atletico Madrid want a solution. And Diego Simeone said um, that he's a talented player who hasn't reached that level at Atletico. And it's believed they're willing to move him on now. Uh, Mendes has come in. Again, Arsenal could be in a fight with um, Tottenham. Tottenham being linked with him. And George Mendes is Jose Mourinho's agent. But also has close links with Sinelli. And it's believed that Lamar would like to go to Arsenal. This is just what we're hearing. Um, a lot of people saying we don't need attacking players, but you know we haven't really got a natural left footer out on that left-hand side. You've seen lately we're kind of short of attacking options, and I think Lamar would be a decent player to get in, especially on loan. I'm not sure about a long-term deal. Maybe a loan with an option to buy. If he did well, you buy him. If he doesn't, you send him back. I don't see any um, major risk with doing that. Um... That's pretty much it for today, Max Ahrens. Um, would you take Max Ahrens or would you just wait on Hector Bellerin and spend that money elsewhere? Also, you know, Ainsley Maitland now is in good form at the moment. 30 or 40 million for Max Ahrens, let me know what you think on that. Um, Demaral being linked with Leicester and Dortmund, 40 million euro bid apparently. You know, is he going to get too expensive where we can't get him or should we break the bank for him? Daniele Regani, as I said, mixed reports about how good he is. If you've seen him, let me know how good you think he is. Could be available for 25 million. Jerome Boateng potentially on a free transfer now, which for me, if we can't get a younger defender, I think would make sense. And Thomas Lamar, you know, Mendes involved, could be available on loan with an option to buy. Do you think we need an attacking player? Me personally, on loan, I would take him. Um... Yeah, that's it for today. Um, thanks to everyone who tuned into that latest episode of Blood Brothers. You know, I didn't want to spoil it. You'll have probably seen by now my um, little finesse finish in the top corner. DT was not happy and um, we'll see what happens in the final. Um, I may do some sort of giveaway on the final. I'm just trying to find out uh, how many tickets are available. So stay tuned for that. Thanks to everyone for watching today. I'll be back tomorrow with more Transfer Talk. Bless.